we're having a discussion and negotiation about my wages that if Stephen Har if the Prime Minister thinks I apologize if because I was in the mind of that Canadian who's thinking about their future here and they were being familiar and I was being overly familiar myself and I apologize and their Tea Party friends. To feel that they are somehow less right. than anyone else. I, I cannot say that in my 14 years, this has been one of the finest speeches ever in the House of Commons. By the of the this keeps on coming, Mr. Speaker. It's, uh, it's uh, something else. <laughs> this is one. This is two. Now, having said that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult to count, you see. My question, for which I will not have an answer because it's part of my talk, it's in my uh, speech. Mr. Uh, speaker, you can relax. What more? What can we do tonight? What more can we do? Soon it'll be morning. Your bad, bad, bad crown corporation under our wing. Today is apparently Thursday, tomorrow will also be Thursday, but I think we have kept the same days of the month. It just contravenes uh, all decent humanity to have the same prepared text read five times. Mr. Speaker, I received a text from a constituent about 20 minutes ago. Um, that text said, uh, hey daddy, are you still in the House of Commons? Uh, it's a pleasure to rise. <laughs> that was lost on everybody except my colleague from Calgary. Uh, it's getting late. It would appear we're going to be here for a long time. Why, Mr. Speaker, why are they doing that? Uh, but in any event, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to ask all of us why we're here. I don't go like this and check the wind, Mr. Speaker, to find out what's going on. An essential component. I'm going to call them Ray Days. I live up a hill. I don't live in a cave. It's 7.25 in the morning. That's if I was in England right now. And don't just take it from me. Just don't take it from me, Madam Speaker. No. Just don't take it from me. Let's get to a resolution instead of the talk. This is not an inconvenience. This is a necessity, folks. I have a labor union background. Uh, my family's not from labor unions, and, and I've actually never been in or a short time as in a labor union. And that was quite uh, entertaining to, to many of us. Getting up here after 4 a.m. is always a bit of a surprise, but... Uh... Women working at Canada Post that are afraid to say anything other than, you know what, I'll fall in line, sure, I'll follow the big union boss that won't allow me to vote on contract offers. That's what she's fighting for. Is she proud of it? And I know that, I know that they're all watching me right now at uh, 4.20 in the morning. I have really no idea about the question that my colleague has just asked. So I'm very sorry, I can't answer the question and I apologize for this. I'm new in Parliament, I'm a new member of Parliament. I'm new here and I look around and I admire everyone here. In fact, they give the, this wonderful hat, Mr. Speaker. They wanted me to show it to you. I don't know whether you're looking at me, Mr. Speaker, but Mr. Speaker, they gave me this lovely cap. And I believe that your question is biased. We could open those doors if we reduced the partisanship of the discussion. Then they should step aside, allow they quick passage aside. of step legislation. Step aside. So let's just do it. Let's stop the lockout, let's move these negotiations, and let's get everybody back to work. But it's part of life. And the quantum of which in dispute. Heal. Mr. Ashfield. Is rape. Is rape. <laughs> Will Mr. Stanton, Stanton. Mr. McCauley, Monsieur Dion, Monsieur Dion, Mr. McGinty, Mr. Andrews, Mr. Andrews, Mr. It has been approximately 57 and a half hours since we commenced the introduction of this legislation. That's not very polite. Well, I don't think it's very polite that you're telling me keep talking. I think I was doing good until they're interrupting me. 